tried to work with risk guarantee mechanisms. Now the point for a banker is that he sees that if the customer is a first time customer to his bank, it's also a financial institutional trans a first time financial institutional transaction for the end user. But the banker is always at a risk of how does he lend to a first time customer who doesn't even have a deposit in his bank. And we've tried to get around this by looking at risk guarantee mechanisms, where we basically put in the collateral, so the bank is then secure, they have a fixed deposit um, for the same amount as the loan in their bank. If the end user doesn't pay back, they know they have the right over this collateral. And if the end user pay back, pays back, they help use that money for another customer. This is the way we try and leverage capital that already has been put into the bank. So the other ways that we're looking at are in cases where you have communities, for example, slums. There are a lot of slum communities that are temporary, that are migrant. The banker uh, finds it extremely risky because he does not see them as permanent settlers there. They do not have land papers. How do you deal with customers like this? Besides that, I think the de facto landowner doesn't want anything too permanent in this area because that means that the squatters become more permanent in that settlement, right? Um, and I think we have tried to get around that by encouraging micro-entrepreneurship in the area. Can there be a micro-entrepreneur who's able to access a loan, who then gives out portable battery packs to these end-user households, who's able to run other services in this slum community, such that as far as they are concerned, it's still a rental model, but as far as uh, the, the, the model itself is concerned, it's financially sustainable. The revenue that comes in is used to repay the loan for this micro-entrepreneur. And what you're encouraging there is also a level of micro-entrepreneurship where um, business happens on the ground and energy is now seen as a livelihood mechanism, livelihood opportunity as well. So I think these are some of the innovations that we're looking at within the labs as far as financing mechanisms are concerned.